Alrighty, ladies and gents, we are back at Beamer. Uh, we're going to the falls today. I was gonna go to the other parking lot, and then there's some weird, creepy dude sitting in his car. So I was like, I guess I'm going to the normal parking lot. But it's gonna be uh, gonna be quite the trek from here. But uh, first, we're just walking into the trail. Back to the uh, the big old field here. Now, um, worst case, I'll take the lookout trail, but I think there's a trail just to the side of the washroom that may bring me there. I can see it from here. So we're gonna check that out first on our way. So a trail linking the main trail with the Beamer Falls side trail. We'll try it. Um, if we get lost, we get lost. <laughs> I mean like, woo, can't get completely lost in here. If I go far enough in one direction, I'll get somewhere eventually, but Huh, kind of ominous in this part of the forest. It's also very early on a, on a Tuesday um, in uh, mid-July, no, late July. Oh my God, it's almost August. Uh, anyways, so we're just gonna continue on um, and go to the uh, Beamer Falls Trail. Here, so we just came this way. There's this little guy, kind of sketchy, but up here, that looks like it says Beamer Falls Side Trail. Oh, Beamer's Falls Side Trail? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know which way to go here. I might check my map real quick and be right back. Okay, so I looked at the map and I realized it literally says right there. So we're going this way to the right. Um, it literally says here, right here, Beamer Falls 280 meters this way, which isn't too far. I think we'll have to probably walk back. Um, along this part but wow looks looks pretty dry i don't know how much falls there's gonna be but uh we're almost there i guess so it looks like it meets the trail that i said looked a little sketchy there which i'd much rather go the way i just went because i didn't have to worry about poison ivy there that doesn't look like a very big trail but uh we're on the road again this is a really wide trail. Um, we should be there within a couple minutes, I imagine. Okay, so I think this blaze means the trail ends here. So I, <laughs> be my... huh? Okay, so we're gonna continue this way. <laughs> I believe we crossed that bridge. And then there's the parking lot where I was going to park, but there's a weird guy. So we'll go in there now. Um, and then from there, I believe we can head down. So it looks like there's a little bit run in there. Um, yeah, it should, be, it should be decent. Like, I imagine this... Um, Whatever this is, I think this is 40 Mile Creek. I'm not entirely sure though. Whatever creek this is, um, I imagine it's also rain fed because I feel like most of the ones in Niagara are rain fed. Well, that's asking for ticks. Um, we're gonna continue on this way. I feel like you can go down that way, but uh, I wear shorts and uh, short socks. So that ain't happening. But there's this weird blue tree over here. And so uh, just gonna continue on our way. Okay, so that is unfortunately where it was parked. So, first north of Grimsby Scouts. Uh, I guess we're going the danger way? Two ways here. I feel like I wanna go this way because it goes down. But here's the thing. I'm more worried about poison ivy than ticks. Okay, continue down. Oh, this is uh, looking pretty promising. Dip down here. Oh, that's a stab my leg. Um, huh. Got a, got a ways to go and I don't know. Oh, oh this is kind of like little steps here. And that takes you right down. Okay, we did it. Uh, so you just gotta watch, walk past Sketchy Dude, past the Scouts building, and then into the forest. What could go wrong, right? Okay, so we're gonna ooh, climb our way over here. Oh 
Oh my god. I mean, it got something to it at least. That's better than Brockway, which is always dried up. Ooh, that one was not stable. Okay. This is, uh, this is Upper Beamer Falls, I guess, I think, yeah. So I guess we'll go walk down the river and check out Lower before we leave, but we're here. All right, well, I <sighs> got some mediocre pictures, but the drone wouldn't fly for some reason. So glad I lugged that all the way through all this. Uh, and it wouldn't tell me why. Like if it was a problem, I would have fixed it, but it wouldn't tell me what the problem was. Oh, that didn't feel good. Um, so I couldn't fix it, you know? But anyways, we could continue down here um, until we find the other waterfall. And who knows, maybe the drone will work by then. Oh, well, we can make it there. Okay, I'll check in here and there. Alrighty, we have made it to the lower falls, or the top of it. Oh, that's pretty cool. This one's running way more. There's some garbage down there. Lots of garbage, but I don't know if that thing is on the rock. Huh. So we'll get a picture or two and then uh, head back up. So we're gonna head back. Woo. This part's uh, a little fishy, but. Whoop. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head back up and then uh, I guess walk back through the park to the car. We could just walk along the road, really. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I decide. See, uh, I hurt my left ankle last week. <sighs> that didn't feel good, climbing up that. Definitely should have used some hands, but we made it back up here. Um, past some people down there. They were going from the lower falls to the upper falls when I was going to the lower falls. But, uh, yeah, overall, kind of nice. Decent sized hike. Um, I wish my drone flew. So it looks like it might rain. So I think I'm just gonna take the road back. That should be a little quicker. Um, but we just left that little area there. See, that, that's where I wanted to park, which apparently you can't park there, but it looks like you can. I still don't know. But uh, at least it's rough for me now, too. Um, yeah, we're just going to walk back along the road so we don't get rained on. And then that'll be it. So I looked at the map, and I was about to go down the uh, the trail route back, the way I came. Because that looked like it was about the same distance. <laughs> and then I realized, like, then I started feeling drops. Uh, now I'm feeling a lot of drops. So I might have to run a little bit at the point. But, uh, wow. Very nice. Oh, so it, does, it says there's parking, the conservation area on Ridge Road here somewhere. Because Quarry Road is the main parking lot. So no idea where that is, but I think my drone's in the waterproof bag. We'll uh, check in later. Okay, so, uh, thankfully, my drone is in my little waterproof bag. Um, <laughs> because I didn't think it was gonna rain today. Uh, I have a different backpack, that's why it's not in there. I, I bought this backpack yesterday, it doesn't have much storage, but it's got the little, uh, the like water that you put in it. Um, so this wouldn't fit in there. Um, and so I have it in the bag, which is good because if I brought my normal backpack, I would not have brought the rainproof cover for it because I didn't think it was gonna rain. Uh, it's not raining too bad. But, kind of got lucky there. Okay, we're back at the parking lot. So I'm gonna end it there, I'll review it, probably in the car while I try to cool down. Um, but yeah, that's been Beamer Falls, bye. Hey yo, rating for Beamer Falls. So, scenery, you have a 14 out of 20. But you have the falls, which are pretty nice, but that's kind of it on the actual trail. You can um, combine that with the lookout trail and have some nice views, but for what I did, 14 out of 20. Entrance, three out of five. Sorry, nothing special. Um, location, um, eight out of 10. It's, it's pretty good. It's just, the only thing I took points off of was that it was up the hill, like the escarpment, just cause it's like, it's not a good, it's not a fun drive, but like the rest of it's fine. Popularity, seven out of 10. Um, it was 9 a.m. on a Wednesday morning when it was gonna rain. I didn't know that, maybe they did. Um, seven out of 10, but 
people, uh, people usually post pictures there, so I gave it a couple extra points there. Services, three out of five. It's got that bathroom and stuff here that Beamer has, right? That's on the way. Um, fun, nine out of 15. It was fun hopping down the, um, the riverbed, but there wasn't much riverbed there you were hopping down. Difficulty, eight out of 15. It was, it, there was some parts that were a little difficult, like getting down and getting up, but besides that, it was uh, pretty flat. Uh, length, six out of 10 is 35-ish minutes. Um, 2.5 kilometers, that's bad. Safety, three out of 10. <laughs> uh, the trail gets very small for a bit up here. And then coming down, I guess there's a bunch of ways you can come down, but the way I went down was apparently the safest. Um, still not very safe at all. Uh, and then all the wet rocks down there. So overall it got a 61 out of 100. Not terrible, not terrible. I'm a hard marker. So I'd say it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's all for me. Bye-bye.